This image brings me great joy because it, it's the antithesis of an illness picture. It's a picture of a little girl who's suffering from cancer, but this is a picture of a little girl who's found joy in, in get well messages and butterflies on her wall. And I love the flowers on her dress. I love everything about this because it m makes her so human and so approachable. Um, if she were lying in a hospital bed or under chemotherapy, I don't think you'd relate to her in the way that you relate to her here. The image does an awful lot of things, and I think when an image works, I just want it to meet me in a particular way. And, you know, I want, it, I want it to come to me, and this image does. It's visually very strong. There's complex narratives. This is very vulnerable baby with a very short lifespan here. Get this, these hands holding this baby down, you know, really, it's very intimate. They're looking after this very vulnerable being. I think it's very well done. Performative photography again, constructed stage photography, but still with so much power and so much meaning and so much, uh, you can see the angst and the anxiety on his face, but you can see the daughter totally oblivious to what he's going through. So I like the, that story, that narrative, that a lot of people are going through mental health problems, but, you know, even people that are close to you are sort of not aware of your torment. There's something about her stoic beauty and the, you know, sort of violence of what's happened to her is just so poignant for me. I can't look away from her eyes and um, and she's beautiful, you know, she's so beautiful. It just, this image makes me cry, you know, it just definitely the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, look how beautiful she is, and then read the caption and I, and I caught my breath. And the overall winner of the Welcome Photography Prize for 2020 is Prozac by Arsini Neskodimov. It's something that needs to be talked about. And so I think a focus on mental health and this prize adding to that conversation is important. It took a lot of discussions between all the judges, but I think we all came to a consensus that this really was the best depiction of mental health that certainly I've ever seen photographically. It's sophisticated photography, beautifully constructed. It's very considered and it you know, really allows us, gives us access into the territory of mental health in a very potent way. It appealed to me as somebody who has written a book about depression and has hosted a show about depression for years, but can still not really define it. You know, I'm still sort of stumped as to what it is, but uh, where I've struggled with words, I can now point to some of these photos and say, oh, depression is this guy in this room, and people will get it.